Hello, this is the PC that I set up for you. It's not a PC. It's a Raspberry Pi that has this keyboard. It's a USB keyboard. And there's a little dongle that's plugged into here that this uses. This is not very obvious. Uh, it has a mouse pad and I can click the mouse button and I can use keys in combination like alt tab would let me change. So there's the tab key and there's the alt key. If I press those together, it does what you would expect in Windows. Move the mouse. Where's the mouse at? Here I'm moving the mouse. Oh, there you can see the mouse is moving. Okay. And I can go down and say, oh, I want to open this key pass application. And I clicked on it. It didn't take. Maybe I didn't click hard enough. So I'm going to hit enter. I expect it to open. We hit enter again. Oh no, it did open. Okay, so now it says it had an error. And there I do see it opened up. I think it got confused because I hit it twice. So now I'm going to move my mouse over here. And I have a very bad password. The password is A, B, C, one, two, three. If I go over here, the mouse, I can click on that and it shows me A, B, C, one, two, three. That's a very bad password. You will need to change that. I will show you where to change that. Okay, but we're not going to change it now. We're just going to say OK. And it opens. Right now, there's a database that I set up that only has one entry for something, a website called User Fufu. There's no website like that. And the username is User Fufu. And the password is something KeePass came up with. And I can hit, because my mouse is hovering over that entry, I can click the right click on the mouse. And now it brings up a menu. And I can go down the menu with the down key. Here's down. Instead of using the mouse, I can just down key, down key, down key, down key, down key, down key. And edit. I can say edit. And now we can see what's in user Fufu. Okay, and I'm going to cancel out of this. We'll look at this a little more later. So I go down to cancel. Okay, now while KeePass, this is KeePass, and I, I'm gonna cancel KeePass again. So close. Okay, it closes. So I can open KeePass from here, and I can open Chromium, that's the browser. Or I can go up to the Raspberry Pi menu up in the corner and hit the menu. I'm sorry, you can't see it very well. And under Accessories, KeePass is listed here too. And up under Internet, Chromium is listed here too. I can open Chromium from there. I clicked enter. And now here is Chromium. It's a browser. I can type in some website I want to go to. Let's go to paypal.com. I'm not going to do anything with PayPal. I'm just showing that it comes up. I've never tried this before. Oh, there's PayPal. Okay. So here you could say, you know your password, you know your username, you can 
log into your PayPal account. Or maybe you don't know, and maybe you have to sign up. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to open a new tab. And I'm going to open up Google. And I'm going to show you how KeePass can just type into a field. And we're not going to use it as a password. It's just typing whatever it into that field. So while Google is open, I go up here and I say, let's open KeePass 2. Now you could pretend that that Google prompt is your bank account or your PayPal account. And now you want to enter a password. So you say, oh, I don't know what my password is. It's stored in the database. I am going to type my secret password that is a very long password that I have memorized. A, B, C, one, two, three. That's not very long. You have to change that, make it a very big password but that's the only password you have to remember. Okay. And now here's the list of all of your passwords for all of your different websites. And they're very difficult passwords. You can't remember them. There's no way they're so difficult. And here I say, I don't know my password. Here, let me copy my username and go to Google and go down here and type control V. Oh, user foo-foo. Okay, that was control V, which is the control key here. Hard to see. Control, oh, come on. Control V is the paste in Linux and in Windows. And now I can go to alt tab and now it gets me back to key pass up with my mouse and i right click and i say i want to copy my password copy password i have 10 seconds to get over here and say control v oh there's that big password that I can't memorize, I don't need to memorize it. It's in the database. Okay, so that's how KeePass works, okay? On any website you want. Make sure you understand what I just did because that's the only reason I built this PC was that you understand this and that you always use KeePass, that it saves your passwords and you don't need to memorize them or write them down. You're going to write down, maybe you will write down uh, the password that you have to get into KeePass and keep that in a safe place, but you don't need to write down your PayPal password or your bank password. Those you keep safe in KeePass. And then if somebody steals something, they steal your computer, you lose everything, but they can't figure out what your key pass password is. Maybe it takes them a while to figure it out. And that gives you enough time to go to the websites and say, I'm going to change my passwords at my bank and at PayPal. I'm going to change all my passwords because somebody stole things and they want to break into my PayPal account. Now you can protect it. Okay, so now in KeePass, that's where we're at right now. Alt tab, there's Chromium, which is the browser, and there's your PayPal. And here you could do something like, hi, I want to log into my PayPal account. Oh, what is your password? Alt tab. Oh, I, I want to log in as username um, control V user foo-foo. And PayPal says, um, oh, what's user foo-foo's 
password and you go back to key pass and you say, oh, I'm going to right click copy password and you go back to PayPal and you say control V. Whoops, that wasn't it. Back control V. There's my big hairy password and you log into PayPal and PayPal says, I've never heard of user foo-foo. Uh, go fix something. So now in KeyPass, okay, so we're done looking at Chromium. So I'm gonna minimize this because we don't wanna look at it right now. In KeyPass, now you could change this user foo-foo. What? There is no account user foo-foo. This is a silly entry. Let's change it. Okay, so up here we can say, um, I'm gonna change this to my Pay pal salad cheat PayPal. All right. And then I can hit to change the field. It works. I can use tab to get to the next field, I think. My username is Saluk G. Uh, what is my username? Because I don't know what it is, but you know. Okay, so you can put that in. And then you can go, what is the password? And whatever crappy password you have right now in PayPal, you could put that in here. But that's not good, okay? You want a good password. So we'll uh, say, oh, um, crappy password for now, because that's what you've got. You've got whatever you would set up on your account. So I'm going to say, make this visible and crappy password. Okay, whatever you're using, right? And I'm going to say, um, the URL, this is not important, is www.paypal.com. Okay, and then notes, uh, no, no notes yet. Okay, so that's, we've changed something. We're going to add notes in a moment. I'm going to show you how to do that and why you need to add a note when you change the password because bad things can happen and i have i have learned the hard way so but for now we're just going to say oh we've got a username called salukji what is my username and a password called crappy password okay and now it it actually it created a new entry i thought it was going to edit that one but it created a new one and i'll leave that old one there Sometime you can say, uh, delete, I'm not using this, and that will delete it, okay? But for now, I'll let you do that and play with it. Okay, so now I've got Salukji PayPal, great. But there's a star up here. This file has not been saved. So I'm gonna go up here and say, save. Hey, PayPal, I want to change my username and password. Let's just say change here. Okay, this is pretend. And I'm changing my password. I want a very strong password now. So you would go into KeyPass. You would go into PayPal and say, um, let's change my password. And PayPal would say, well, tell me what your old password is. And so... Because things can go wrong at this point, you would say, well, hold on here. Before I get in a hurry, I'm going to first copy my password. And now I'm going to quickly 
edit this field and in my notes, I'm going to say control V and you're not going to be using it. But if things go wrong, when you go to change your password on PayPal, now at least you can see your old previous password. So now you can say, oh, hi, PayPal. And I want to change my password. And PayPal says, what was your old password? So now let's edit. And this is why this doesn't always work the first time and why I learned to say, save that old one in the notes. Now I'm going to hit the generate password, generate password, open the password generator. And here I can say, I want my password to be huge. I want it to be 30 characters long. I don't care. I don't care how long it is. And I want it to have uppercase and lowercase letters. And I want it to have digits. And the minus key is allowed. And I want it to have special characters too. And I want it to have brackets. Now, usually this is fine. But some websites, they will say, no, you can't have the special character percent sign or whatever there are you know you can't have a bracket that's not allowed brackets break everything so you might wind up making a password and then you try to enter it and now you lost your old password because you didn't put it in the notes and now now things break so oh oops there was a a rule that said no brackets fine i'm going to turn it off now every website is different they have different rules but okay, I have some rules for how the pattern is going to be generating a password. And now I'm going to click OK. And now it generated a new password. Did it? My old one was crappy password. What's this one? Oh, it's some big hairy thing. Great. Okay, so let's make it invisible again. And now we have a new password. And we still have the old password to look at in the notes. Okay, so I could say... Um, let's just pretend I go to PayPal. Okay, now I'm ready to change my password. And it says, what's your old password? And you go back here and you say, my old password is edit. And oh, here I can copy it, whatever it was. Right? Um, I'm doing all of this with this little tiny keyboard. Okay, control C for copy. And now... Alt tab to go back to the website and uh, oh my old password was control V there that's my old password and I'll say space because we're just pretending right now. You want to be very careful in every step and I can say oh now let's copy this new password that I have copy alt tab and control V. Oh, here's new fancy password and PayPal will say, well, enter that password again because it wants you to do it twice. It'll have two fields, right? And so then I'll go alt tab and I'll say, uh, copy it again. Uh, here, copy, alt tab, control V. And now I've got it copied twice. Okay, so that's our little pretend session of how you can change a password at a website and then you it's great. I can keep adding new um, websites, my bank, and I can go through the same thing I did with PayPal before. And now I'm doing something with my bank, blah, blah. New entry, and of course, this is not what you want. So let's just delete that one. Delete. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so blah, blah is gone. My bank is gone because that was not useful. And control S. You don't have to go to the file menu. I just saved the file by hitting control. Just like in Windows. Now let's change the password, the master password. Um, oh yeah, change master key. Okay, what was your old password? No, it doesn't ask you what your old one was. It just asks you what's the new one you want. So let's make it caps A, B, C, one, two, three. 
And it says, boy, that's an awful password. Why are you using a password like that? Well, because I'm just showing you how all this works. There it is. Capital A, B, C, one, two, three. Okay. And it repeated. And I can say, okay. The master key has been changed in order to apply the new master key. The database must be saved. Do you want to save now? Yes. There's an emergency sheet, they, they tell you. So let's say I want to print the emergency sheet now, and it shows you this sheet, and there you can write in your password, and you can store that in a box and bury the box behind your house in a field, and that way you never are going to forget your password. It's stored somewhere safe or something like that. You can, do, you can be creative of how you're going to save your password, uh, but the best, the safest way is if you have it memorized, and maybe you teach it to one other person and they have it memorized or there's some secret way you do it, something, okay? So that's key pass. Let's just change the password again. I'm gonna change it back to lowercase a, b, c, one, two, three, tab, tab, a, b, c, one, two, three, and hit okay, enter. Oh, you changed it. Okay, save it, yes. And it's gonna say, oh, here's your emergency sheet. All right, good, thank you. So there's your, you want to print that out on a printer and write it or put the, whatever. You, you know how to do that. Okay. So that's all. I think I need to be sure. No, that's not all. Okay. And I'm going to go down to file manager. Click, enter, and I'm going to go to documents, enter. Okay, there is the file, key pass, or database.kdbx. And another way I could get here is if I open the terminal, it's up there. Uh, I think you can't see it because the screen shifted. I can go up in the menu, menu, and I can go to accessories, and down here is terminal. All Sorry, the thing stopped recording, so now I started it up again, and I just plugged in the USB cable, and look, the USB cable, the thumb drive showed up, removable media, Sorry for the jiggling camera. Removal media is inserted. This is the thumb drive that I'm going to back up. You'll need a thumb drive so you can back things up, so you can back up this very important file. So let's say open in file manager. Uh, click OK. New folder. Uh, back. Up, key, pass. Okay, that's the name of my new folder. Enter, and let's go into the backup key pass. Directory, and now we're gonna want to copy this file over, so I can grab at the top of the browser window. I can d touch the, uh, I'm holding down the mouse button while I drag. And now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to say Control C, and I'm going to go over here and say Control V. Okay, it copied it. So now I have backed up my very important database. The scary thing is you can't just unplug the thumb drive. So let's do that. We want to eject safely. Select the drive, USB, flash memory, one gig. Hooray, click that. It is now safe to remove the drive, the remove the device, it says. So we can remove it. Ooh, there we go, key pass. Uh, let's try to quit key pass. Let's try Alt F4. No, yeah, that does. So Alt F4, just like on Windows, you can hit the, this is kind of cool that this keyboard has Alt, 
and up here F4. It has an F key, so Alt F4 is what I use to kill key pass without having to navigate the menus. And now let's shut down. Shut down. This is the only, in Linux, you really have to hit shut down. Yeah, this computer, you can't just turn off the power or unplug it. That's very unsafe. So hit shut down. It says, what do you want to do? You want to log out, shut down or reboot? Oh, hold on. Let's do one more exercise after this. We're going to shut down. And there I am. Hello. And now we're going to say, turn it on again. Since it's power saving, turn it on again. We'll be able to access all of these files if you don't change the password, because only the default password is being used. So under preferences, we want to go to preferences, appearance, main menu, keyboard, configure Raspberry Pi system, enter. There we go. Okay, you wanna change the password. So your host name is Raspberry Pi and the password so the account for this for logging in is pi and the password is raspberry r a s p b e r r y that's the username and password for the default raspberry when you buy it out of the box you're going to want to change this password to whatever you can remember and nobody else knows Okay, so uh, that is an important step. Why is it not too important? Well, the really important one is this one. When you open this file, double click. Let's see if it opens up KeyPass when I just double clicked on it. Yeah, it does, isn't that cool? Here, this password is the really important one. This has to be really, really long, really long. So A, B, C, one, two, three, that is just too short. You have to fix 